studios, Lancashire's rival to the Tate Modern and the Saatchi Galleries. Richester here in the Regal Valley is no stranger to exhibiting. Anatolian Blacks and Beefmasters are just two of the prize breeds you can see at the Royal Lancashire Show, which is held in the area annually. But now Richester's getting a reputation for exhibiting something other than cattle, contemporary modern art. Some llamas you can in fact ride, but not William and Bilby Small. These are just act as giant picnic baskets, leaving you to enjoy the countryside and taking all the weight from your walk. I'm joined now by Liz from Future World. Hi. And I think adults, you've been trying to prize them off this sort of machinery for very obvious reasons. Absolutely. In fact, I think the adults have more fun than the children on these machines. They really do. We can never get them off. And of course, there is loads to do for the children at Future World. Behind you, you can see the uh, tweeny sites and the Teletubby sites, which are very popular. And of course, the PlayStation games as well. That's showbiz! <laughs> And I suppose 200 years ago when this building used to be a mill, the people who came here perhaps didn't expect that one day there'd be such work on display here. What are the advantages of working in an old mill building? Are there any? Oh, there's absolutely. I mean, apart from the, the size of the buildings and the space that we've got, it's the north light sort of lighting that we have, um, which obviously is just fantastic for producing art, for displaying art. It's just fabulous. It's becoming clear that Ribchester's a prize breeding ground now for modern artists as well as cattle. Liz Robertson, Northwest Today. Hey!